That's a nest. Locust nest. See it? Says right on it. Ew. Gross. <laughs> now, this is gonna be tricky here. Wow. Ow. Oh, yeah. I told you. Tricky. Very tricky. Good day, Survivors. Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Vintage Story. We are back here at the cozy cottage. <laughs> And uh, I'm just holding on to a super hot crucible filled with uh, with bismuth bronze. Let's pour it out before it cools down on me. So we've got three different molds here. We've got the prospecting pick mold. We have two regular pickaxe molds. So we're going to get some new bismuth bronze tools. So fantastic. All right, let's put that away. So I'm just doing a bunch of chores here around the house. It is now nighttime. Uh, day 12, July 12th, and it's, yeah, so it's, um, not quite midnight yet, but it looks like it's raining outside. Oh, we don't get much rain around here. That's cool. All right, anyway, um, yeah, so what's on the to-do list today? Visit the North Trader Flower Patch. Wait a second. No, that was last week's to-do list. <laughs> we need a new to-do list. I didn't, uh, didn't update that, but I do have it up in my head. So here's what we're doing. we got stuff all over the place, you can see. All the molds here on the ground. In fact, let's grab our copper. Is it hot? Oh, it is hot. So I went out and got some more copper because we're running really super low. And I found something very, very interesting, which we will go and investigate today shortly. But first, I want to pour out this copper, make the lamellae. Um, we're going to make armor with this lamellae stuff. What? Um, yeah, let's, let's grab all the lamellae over here. So I've been working real hard making these scales i guess you could say little squares and we can use those to make copper armor body lamellar copper armor right here to replace the piece that the crazy goat lady chewed off of our body right there so yeah i've been working hard on those little bits and pieces right there we just need four more um also what else did i do oh brass plates we have brass plates we made brass with our new zinc and with brass, we can make a brass torch holder. It's about all you can do with brass. I thought it'd be fun to make one. We can make brass lanterns as well. But I want to make this torch holder right here. So that's all you have to do. Two vertical pieces together. Bam! Brass torch holder. And apparently... Oh, we got two! We got two! Okay, good. Two for one. Now, apparently, these will um, hold torches. And the torches will never expire. That's cool. So let's take these back down and hang these up. All right. I like it. Oh, wow. That torch on the floor was super bright, wasn't it? Yeah. Just toss it on the ground. <laughs> just make sure you don't throw it on wood <laughs> or near your uh, your clothing dummy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of dummy, how's, how's Freddy doing out here, Fred? Fred's over by the bees. Let's go check the bees real quick. They're not quite ready, I don't think. They did swarm. What the? Wow, crazy goat lady. Ow. Oh, dang it. She's so aggressive. What is wrong with her? Anger issues, that one. All right, let's get back inside here and check on the bees. She climbs right over the fences somehow, doesn't she? I don't know. Uh, what does it say? Welcome to Fred's famous bee garden. It's not your bee garden, pal. It's my bee garden. I'm the one that did all the work. This guy lays claim to everything. So all of the bees, uh, skeps have populated. You see here, poor population, poor population. And this one is, oh, this one's large because this one swarmed and they populated the other skeps. You can hear them inside, but they're not out right now because they're all cozy indoors for the night. They don't like to go out in the rain either, I don't think. But uh, they're not ready to give us any honeycomb. We have to wait until the front doors get bright uh, yellow color, I think. All right, let's get back indoors where it's safe. Here, drifter's coming. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do today. I found a very special location uh, way over here. I didn't mark it on the map, I forgot, but there's a hole in the ground over here by this copper, and it was super deep, and I fell into it. I survived because I didn't fall all the way down to the bottom, <laughs> but I came close, and I decided to throw a torch down, and uh, it lit up a cave down below, and I saw some rusty-looking metal. Something strange down there, and then something moving around. I have a feeling it's a dungeon or potentially a locust hive or nest or something down there. Now, locusts are like little mechanical spiders underground. Is this thing cool yet? 
So yeah, lots of things to do today. So let me just wait for all this stuff to cool down. We'll make our armor. I hear you out there, you stinking raccoon. Oh, here's that crazy goat lady. She's back. Is that her? I'm going to take her out once and for all. Oh, no, it's a drifter. All right, we want drifters anyway, because they drop temporal gears. And we need those too. Where'd you go? I really do have to fix up my fence. It doesn't seem to work very well. Get out of my bushes, bro. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. No, it's not. It's a, it's a terrible day. It's a crummy, rainy, dreary, yucky day. And there's that crazy goat lady over there by my berries. You better not be eating my berries. I, I, we should just kill her once and for all, huh? I just feel bad. She's got kids. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a crummy day, but we have to go out. We're going to go jump in a hole. We're going to make our armor and jump in a hole for some adventure. What time is it? Yeah, almost 6 o'clock. The sun is now on the rise. It's August 1st now. Oh, wow. Check it out. So this must be the rainy season. <laughs> Outside temperature is starting to get cooler, isn't it? 18 degrees Celsius, which is what? Somewhere around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, roughly. I don't know. I'm not a Celsius guy. Uh, let's pick up our tools here. We got the prospecting pick and the regular picks, and we got our lamellae over there. We're going to make up that armor. We're going to go jump in a hole for some adventure. But first, let's make up our picks here. Bismuth bronze picks. Not all that great, frankly. Um, a little bit more durable than the tin bronze but not much and they're actually a little slower but they are tier three which means we'll be able to get um, some of the metals with those right so a little better than copper anyway all right let's put these um, we don't need all of them let's just bring two and we don't need the prospecting pick on this particular trip put that away and now I'll clean up the floor later let's get our lamellae bonk 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 love that sound Grab all these over here. There's little bits and pieces. And we need, I think it was three pelts, right? So one, two, three. Don't eat those. They're in my food slot. And I believe it was, uh, let me see if I remember. No, I think it was like that. Let's see. I did. I remembered. Body lamellar. Copper. Protection tier one. It's better than the wood stuff. Percentage of protection is 75% flat damage reduction half it's a little slower walk speed and all that stuff but it will protect us and it looks fine whoo all right there we go now I'll meet you at the hole which is pretty far to the east way over here so stay tuned I'll be right back let's make sure that crazy goat lady is not chasing us well hello little feller did somebody leave you behind? Oh, that's terrible. Look at this little copper nugget right here. On the ground. I got him. I got you, little buddy. There you go. Little nugget. <laughs> Check it out. This is the copper, one of the copper uh, mines, veins, I guess you could say, that I left behind. I wanted to show you guys the, the disc-shaped um, layout. It's kind of cool, right? So I, I didn't grab all of it yet. I just didn't haven't had the time. But um, I had to get enough to make my lamellar, lamellar armor, which I have done. And there's another big hole over there, too, that I opened up. But we'll get that copper eventually. But um, i got to find that hole. Is this it? Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the one. This is the hole with the torch. Yeah. So I fell in here, and I landed down there. Um, I didn't quite die, fortunately. But uh, I think I was pushed. I think that crazy goat lady has friends over here. Maybe that guy right there. Yeah. I felt a little push. But... Um, that's the story. I'm sticking to it. Anyway, so <laughs> I climbed my way back out, and um, but before I did, I threw a torch down here. And like I said, I saw something very, very fishy. So we're going to go down there and check it out. Do we have lots of dirt? We might need lots of dirt down here. Let's make sure we are prepared for this because it could get nasty. If these are locusts, then those things are pretty tough. They're Like I said, they're, they're spiders, mechanical spiders. Um, they can climb walls, so you have to be really careful around them. It may not even be spiders. It might just be a dungeon. I don't know. But I saw some movement down there. It could be a drifter. Um, that right there, I believe, is salt peter, too. We can grab some of that before we go. But, uh, yeah, these locusts can be pretty hard to kill. Um, I'm not sure if we're quite prepared for locusts. Oh, my torch is still down there. Yeah, see that right there next to that torch? That looks like some kind of rusty metal gear or something, right? Yeah, so at the very least, there's going to be some kind of a dungeon down there. You might be able to find a temporal gear. 
or metal parts so we can fix that translocator. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff we need. Um, but then again, it could be a locust. And if there's locusts, there's going to be a nest. And we're going to have to destroy the locust nests. Uh, because they spawn out of them. So let's get down here and see what we can do. This should be very interesting. I'm going to put my lantern in here now and get ready for battle. Yeah, you can see that metal right there. Now I want to grab some of this stuff. Yep. Yeah, this right here. How do we get it? Is this saltpeter? Do we get it with a shovel? Got it. Nice, saltpeter. Time to make some bombs. Yeah, we can make bombs. Oh, and it's also fertilizer. So it replenishes the K nutrient. Oh, very nice. I like that. So we'll grab a bunch of this on the way down. Oh, I hear drifters. Yes, of course. Now that we're down underground, we're going to run into some drifters down here. If we're lucky, it's just drifters. <laughs> if we're unlucky, we're going to run into those um, locusts. I don't know why they call them locusts. Just call them spiders. They're spiders. Drifters we can take. As long as we're careful. Oh, no! No, that's locusts. Locusts and drifters. Look at them. They already know we're coming down. Look at them all. Holy smokes, is a ton well there is a strategy that people use and that is to tunnel to their nest and destroy the nest so they stop spawning that's obviously the first thing you do right we do that in you know, like in minecraft too obviously but i don't know where the nests are we have to find the nest first so this is gonna be a bit twinky look at you little guys down there locusts basically spiders <laughs> Look at all the rusty metal, though. That could be good, right? Whoa. Uh, careful now. Careful. Let me throw some torches down there. Oh, over there. Catch. It's too bad we can't just light them on fire. I wish I had, like, um, um, lava. That'd get rid of these stinkers. That'd be too easy. All right, well, we got to figure out where the... Where the uh, the nests are. I'm not sure which direction. Follow the metal, I think, right? Oh, that torch landed on top of a... Um, that's a stalagmite right there. Alright, we're going to open this up a little bit and see if we get a better angle. Don't want to go down there. These guys can climb walls, like straight up. But I think we're safe where we are for the time being. Let's do a little dig in here and see if we can locate the nest. Don't want to fall down there. Oh, look at that. I think um, that, the metal right there did damage to that drifter. He walked on and he took damage. So maybe they're metal spikes or something? Could be. Now, I also brought some slabs. So I was told slabs are good. How do we make slabs again? Hold on. Slab. Oh, we need clay? Ugh. Well, hopefully two is enough. Yeah, apparently we can use slabs to block the spawners from generating. And then we can um, then we can destroy them. Oh, that's a nest. Locust nest. See it? Says right on it. Ew. Gross. <laughs> we destroy it right now. The problem is, um, if we destroy it now, we're not going to get the goodies. The goodies are going to fall down on the ground. And then I guess we can just kill them all, right? I guess we could do that. I'd like to put something under it to, ca to catch the goodies, but it'll probably catch the spiders that fall out of it, too. I don't know. I don't know what the best way is to do this. If I destroy this block, I wonder if it'll destroy that at the same time. Let's just break it. We're going to have to go down there and kill all these bums. I mean, we can do it from up here with arrows if we have enough. It's the way to do it. It's gone. Did it drop anything? I can't tell if it dropped anything. I hope so. Catch! Oh, so scary. We fall down there. It is game over. <laughs> yeah, it definitely dropped some stuff right there. Looks like flax and maybe some metal bits. Yeah, we need metal parts, which are not rusty metal. They're actual metal parts. We use those to fix up the translocators. Could be more than one nest, so that's why we're gonna go slow 
Yeah, we're gonna take out all the nests, make sure we get them all, and then we're just gonna have to try to kill these guys one at a time, or jump down there, grab the loots, and make a run for it. Um, all right, I'm just gonna keep digging. Keep my eyes open for more of these nests. Uh oh, uh, uh, uh. I think I see another nest hanging down here. So creepy looking. That one looks a little different than the other one, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a nest, all right. Can we attach stuff to the stalact? <gasps> oh, yes, we can. Oh, okay, this is getting interesting. Although, can they climb up that pillar? I hope not. That would not be good for us. Oh, a light temporal storm? Right now? Oh my gosh. No. That's not good. That's real bad. Oh my gosh, guys, that this is a terrible place. Actually, it's not bad. We could probably just dig a hole and wait it out right here. Might be the best thing to do. Let's make a little hidey hole right here. Uh-oh, my temporal gear down there is turning to the left. I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> We're so deep down here. It's crazy. It's making me crazy. So I wonder if we can try to get down. Well, let's break this one. Nothing popping out of it. So I don't know when or how stuff pops out of it. They're tough, though, huh? Got it. Oh, oh, we got something. Got something. So there you go. As long as you get close enough. We got metal scraps and flax twine. Well, that's not good. I want metal metal. All right, well, let's keep looking around for more of these. Ew, what is that right there? Metal spikes from the ceiling. I wonder if they hurt us. Probably, huh? I don't see any more nests. So maybe that's all of them? Ew, what is that thing? Locust nest cage? It's a cage. What the heck? They live in cages? Yeah, they're, they're mechanical beasts. Let's see if we can get there from here. Oh, hi. There it is. <laughs> that was good directional stuff. Here, I'll put that right under. Ah, wow. Oh, he got me. Yeah, that's not how I wanted to put that. I wanted to turn it the other way. Um, will that still block it from spitting stuff out? Maybe. And then maybe we can grab what we need here. I'm just going to surround this. And hopefully when this thing pops, we'll get what we want. As long as it doesn't go out the other side. Get anything from that? I don't think so. What is that right there? Metal spikes. Dude, get out of the way. We've got quite the reach here, huh? I want my... Oh, no, there goes my slab. And my phone's going crazy. Yeah, I guess he can't climb straight up. Oh, he can climb up. Yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can when he wants to. He feels like it. Came right on up, didn't he? All right, then. That was interesting. I'm going to heal up. Whoa, there's another one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, can I get this close? I guess so. <laughs> Nothing's popping out of it. Look at all those little critters down there. Okay, this one, the other one didn't seem to drop anything. The cage. Oh! Who that? Stop! Oh, he climbed right up. Oh! Dang it, switch to the sword, man. Switch to the sword. Ooh, he's tough. Who's getting me? How is he getting me? Oh, I crushed him. He died. Good. I don't know how that guy got up here. Let's heal up a bit. What's this new armor doing? <laughs> it's taking some hits. Not doing great. Yeah, we really need to get to the Gambeson armor, which is it's cloth, it's linen, <laughs> but it's um it's a higher tier and stronger. You got anything? Nothing. Nothing. I can't I can't cut them open. All right, let's break this. Try this. Oh no, they're they're popping out. They're popping out. They're popping out. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> he popped out the side. I guess you gotta block it everywhere. Ugh, push him off the edge. Gross. Looks like a tick more than a locust. Oh, they're popping out on the other side. I think that when you hit it, they come out. That one didn't seem to drop anything. Oh. Man, they've got some reach, don't they, with their little tentacles. Maybe that's all the nest. There's only one thing left to do, and that's grab... The loot that fell from the first nest if we are feeling crazy. And I'm not feeling that crazy, frankly. 
So I think now it's time just to hide out from this uh, temporal storm, or we can just try to make a run for it back home, and then... Whoa! Damn you! No, 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 no! Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> running out of horsetail poultice here. We can't sit here and do nothing. Now, I'm running a little low on dirt, so I got my uh, some medium fertility dirt here as well. So let's see if we can just make like a shaft straight down. Is that going to be possible? Um, there's the loots right there. So how, how can we do this? <laughs> it's got to be a bit tricky. I want to just go straight down underneath it. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Oh, no, I need that. Oh, hey, that, that's a metal thing. That's a metal thing. That's definitely a metal thing. Whoa. No, no, no. Bad. Bad guys. Bad down. Down. He's in the way. Get out of there. Get out of there. There's definitely something. Ah! Oh! Oh, bad. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to run out of dirt. I can't do this. I see something right there. That looks like it might be some kind of metal or something, right? But we got to drop down and get it. And it's, like, right here. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We are going to do this. But i got to make sure we don't get killed in the process. All right. I'm going to have to grab some of this dirt over here to recover it. Uh, 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 grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Should be enough. Now, this is going to be tricky here. Wow! Ow! Oh, yeah, t I told you. Tricky. Very tricky. Very oh. tricky. Oh, dang it. No. Bad. Down. Oh, man. They have some reach on them. How is that even possible? How is... Oh, I thought you were dead. Oh, they make a crunching sound, like mechanical. Okay. This is bad. Run! <laughs> Run! I think I let him up. That's not what I wanted to do. Although, maybe we just kill all of them and then we don't have to worry about them anymore. My sword's doing okay. Can do that. And I have my... Oh, ow! Whoa, ow! Took a bite right out of my something. Okay, maybe we can shoot them with our bow. We do have a bow. And we have our spear. And it seems like they have really super long reach. I don't get that. Right, I'm going to just shoot them from over here. These little guys. Oop. Maybe not. All right, let's heal up. I think we can do this. This is probably where the slab would come into play. Oh, you little. Uh -oh. Got him. Okay, two shots. These flint arrows are just awful. Oh. Who are you? Oh, no. Oh, you. <laughs> the crazy goat family. Up here, you go fight those stupid things. Crazy goat lady, go. Get down there. Go play. Go play with some spiders. There you go. This is a sacrifice for you, little guys. Um, alright. This is getting bad. Oh, no! No! It's getting bad! Okay. Heal up. Dang it. I should have brought more poultices. Ooh, that did some nice damage. Holy smokes! I killed two of them. <laughs> he can throw the spear down and it kills them. All right, another one bites the dust. As long as they're not respawning, I think we're going to get it, guys. All right, I'm going to shoot him with the bow. And dead. Now, I think we got all the spiders. So, I guess all we have to worry about now is the drifters. I'm not too concerned about them. <laughs> There's the ram. He's not looking happy. Block him out. Block everybody out. This is what I attempted to do, but it didn't really work out. All right, I'm jumping in. It's safe. I got everything. Do we get it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Metal parts. Sweet. All right, now we can go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Can I... Can't put this down with these bodies here. Eh, boy. All right, then. That's going to be a bit tricky. Um, Uh-oh. Temporal thing is here. Yep, everything's getting weird. Gotta get up and out of here. Oh boy, we don't have any poultice left either. Uh, all right, we're gonna get back up to our little hidey hole over here if we can. Okay, well, we got our little metal gear, metal parts, and one metal scrap, and one flax twine. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to be happy with that. And when this temporal storm ends, I will uh, head back to the surface and go home. Look at my gear, though. 
Oh man, it's dropping fast. Is that because we're underground and there's a temporal storm? It could be a combination of both. Oh dear, we might have to go. Oh, the torch just went out. Um, yeah, I think I might have to dig out of here, guys. I think I might have to dig my way out. Get back to the surface. Oh! It's one of them shifty drifters. Shifty drifter here. Okay. I'm gonna make a run for it. Crazy goat lady. Oh! It's a bunny! <laughs> hey, we just tied Freddy for the Wabbit Hunter of the Year award. We just tied him. 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, I'm gonna head to the surface and I'm gonna run home. Where it's probably not quite as safe. But what choice do we have? Still raining up here? Almost to the top. Whoa, don't get suffocated now. Oh, watch out below. <laughs> you see that sand went all the way down. That was kind of cool. All right, I think this is it. It's the siphus. We are out. We are out. Grab a little extra dirt. Don't fall back in that hole. It's a long way down. And now we're going to make a run for it. Do west. All right, we made it. Woohoo! I'll see you guys back home. Hopefully, we can make it in one piece. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! One of those drifters teleported literally right in front of me. Oh my. Alright, did not expect that. I thought I could outrun them, but not if they cheat by teleporting. Oh, the storm is waning! The storm seems to be waning. And I think we're gonna make it. I think we might make it. <gasps> home sweet home! Cozy cottage! Woohoo! We made it! Now watch that crazy goat lady kill us, right? <laughs> right here at home. At our front door, something happened. Oh! It ended! Literally ended the second we walked in the door. <laughs> awesome! Alright! Well, that was, uh... That was stressful. But sure was adventurous, wasn't it? Like I said, jumping a hole for adventure. We sure did get some today. And our temporal gear is now turning in the uh, clockwise direction, which means we are uh, getting our mind back. Things are looking good. And I gotta update this now, 7 7. Yep, Wabbit Slayer of the Year, tied up, 7 7. And with that, my friends, we're gonna call it quits. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.